we out here at Raffles Garage. Today, we're working on my brother's car. An Audi A4. Um, he bought little things that he liked. He's not really a car guy, but he does like putting little things on his car. So, he actually bought the Audi emblem that lights up. So, I'm going to replace that. He bought a grill which this one looks a little nicer than this one he bought a lip for it so i'm gonna install that he also bought these light up door seals so i'm gonna install that probably these emblems too that he bought so yeah little things here and lights that he bought for his car so i'm gonna install stuff let me see what he wants to get done first and then We'll go from there. I don't think I'm going to finish today, but let's see how much I get done. So I guess we're installing the stereo first. With the six and a half inch screen. So this is just plug and play supposedly, and it's going to go right here. Um, this is fairly easy to do. Um, just got to take off this right here pulls out this one does too but it has like two little things that i have to do a little hook same here probably has a little hook and a little slot to put it so there it is took off the trim pieces already a couple of torques right here four four size eights right here this was the most sketchy part because we thought we we're gonna break it but we actually got it through my brother's actually putting these little uh lights around the trims Let's see if it looks good and i'll take it out so that's what it is right now So, plugged in the T, basically connects to the original wire harness and connects to this one, makes another cable. This is gonna connect to the new screen, so this one we're not gonna use. This is actually the emergency lights and these are the air vents that go on there. And that's about it. All these other plugs are still gonna be the same. We have a navigation button that's gonna go right about here and it's gonna plug up to this wire harness it's already come with the T so so what we're gonna do real quick all these other wires is for backup camera so but my brother didn't get it he's gonna get it later on in the future so we don't need that So we got it to work basically we had to plug in this one to tell them that it was working we didn't plug this one up we thought it was for the rear camera it is but it still has to be connected and that's about it we're just gonna put everything back together and call it a day time we're doing a stereo um was a headache because the instruction wasn't that great it's working now uh, basically what this does that becomes a bluetooth and it goes into an auxiliary cord that's over there on the glove box and i guess we didn't know about the auxiliary cord so we were struggling we didn't know hey get out get out install the grill and the light up Audi 
and probably install the lip. So let's get started with this and figure out how to take your bumper off. Never done it before, so uh, let's try and figure it out. And I basically need to do this before my brother comes. So this one had like four screws. One, two, three, four. This already takes T25 usually. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a screw right there, but to get that, I might have to remove that wheel well. And um, does he have fog lights? Yes, he does. So you have to unplug that. And then I'm also gonna have to remove the under panel right here. I'm pretty sure it has a bunch of little screws. Eh, but over there, um, let me see if this comes off. I think it does. Probably has another two more bolts down there. Yep, bolt right here, bolt right here. T25s, I'll bet you anything. So let's get to it. So there it is, I took off the bumper, a bunch of dirt down there. Um, basically, remove the fog lights. There is a sensor right here, and then there's a screw, of course, right here, and there's another one that goes here. And then, of course, this top one, and the little cover that's right there. So yeah, I'm gonna take off this grill. It looks like another hex or uh, T25s. These guys are not bugging me. I think I'm gonna put them over there. <sighs> in a butt because you have to remove all these right here so uh, let's see how this one fits and then see where the Audi emblem's at the one that glows in the dark and I had to remove that right there and of course the uh, supporter but uh, I hate Euro cars Looks like we're not gonna put the lip. It's not for this car, and my brother's not here, so I can't really dictate if he wants to put it on like that. Um, emblem is not that great, it doesn't have the best fitting, but somehow I made it work. Uh, from far away, you can't really tell, but I like this girl better than that one, so. I'm not sure if he wants me to put the license plate on this or not. I'll leave it up to him. So I'm just going to wire this just basically positive to negative to basically um, a power source. Probably going to get it from the headlights or something or the parking lights. Um, and yeah, that will be it. All the other parts I'll probably install another day because... It's getting dark already and, and I gotta work tomorrow. So.
So there it is. I'm gonna tap to the parking light, which is gonna be um it's probably gonna be this this blue one with or this black one with black. So I'm gonna tap into that. So I think it's already wired up. I'm just testing it. So I just hit twist and pull right now. Positive ground right there. And I tapped it from that parking lights. So let's give it a try. Hopefully it works. If it works, we'll put everything back together and call it a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know, I know. And there it is. It's working sweet so uh, um that's not plugged in so yep sweet put everything back together and my brother should be happy about this There it is, Audi emblem working now. Brother's happy. And that will be it guys. I'll finish the other stuff later when I get more time, but looks pretty nice. So, thanks for watching, please like, subscribe, and I'm out.